welcome back welcome back welcome back to my channel welcome back it's ashley and today is a exciting video because honestly i have finally received my morphe times jacqueline hill palette <sighs> i just love new makeup and also got the setting mist so you know we're just gonna do a quick little unboxing i'm pretty sure that most of you guys have already seen the palettes everywhere of course but this is my video on my channel so i don't care how late i am i'm still gonna show you guys so the first palette I'm going to be unwrapping and showing you guys is the Armed and Dangerous palette. The next palette is Bling Boss. All of the um, packaging looks the same with the palettes, but the color of the palette, which is cool, is in these little confetti marks on the palette so the purple confetti you will know that that is purple eyeshadow in this palette which is cool i think she did a really good job with these palettes like they're really nice the next one is ring the alarm ring the alarm i've been doing this too long so this palette is so so pretty i love red shades orange shades i just love those are like one of my favorite kind of eyeshadow combinations to really go for typically the next palette is called dark magic now i you know typically for myself i just normally don't do a whole lot of dark colors on my lid but this palette really is inspiring me to do a dark look see we will see so guys that is all of the palettes and let's get started with the tutorial all right so i went ahead and did my brows off camera just so you know the video can solely be about the palette so i'm going to be taking the ring the alarm palette I'm going to be taking Rush and I'm going to be placing that into my crease. For the next shade in the palette, I'm going to be taking Mugshot and I'm also going to be putting that in my crease. I always like to do my eyeshadow and like a gradient effect starting from light to dark is something's too dark you cannot take it away so most of the time with anything you need to just start off light-handed same thing goes for relationships start off motherfucking slow next thing you know y'all fucked up <laughs> okay <laughs> that blessed me so take your time when doing your eyeshadow For the next shade, I'm going to be taking Mug Shot, and I'm going to be using this color to deepen up the outer corner and also tighter in my crease. For the next shade, I'm going to be taking Framed, which is this shade right here. The next shade I'll be using from the palette is Secret, which is this deep brown. And I'm going to be placing that on the outer corner of my eye. And I'm also going to go in with it really tightly into my crease. Metallic gradient 
situation. I'm gonna be using a flat brush like so. onto my inner corner I'm going to be placing bomb ass on the rest now that that's all done I'm going to be taking framed and secret and I'm going to be placing that on the outer corners of my eye to deepen it up Are done for right now I'm gonna move on to my face and for foundation I'm gonna be taking the Fenty Beauty in the shade 420 and I'm gonna be taking the NYX total control foundation in the shade mocha and I'm gonna do two pumps of the Fenty and one drop of the mocha taking taking the LA girl pro conceal in the shade toffee taking my same foundation brush contour and to set my highlight I'm going to be taking the black radiance loose setting powder So 
I'm going to be using the BH Cosmetics Contour Kit to contour around my face. To, to blend out mm -hmm. so now I'm gonna take what's left on my contour brush I'm gonna contour my nose for blush I'm gonna be taking the elf quad palette Take my blush brush and I'm just going to swirl around in all the colors. Dab off the extra. <music> to finish off the face, I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Glow Kit. And I'm going to be taking the shade bronze and putting that on the highest points of my cheeks, a little on the tip of my nose. That's just something I can't not do, especially when I'm wearing eyeshadow. Even when I'm not wearing eyeshadow, I like love a brow, brow bone highlight. I just feel like it ties like your whole eye look together. And it also makes your eyebrows look really good and lifted. That's what I really like about it. To blend out my highlight, I typically always take my blush brush and I go ahead and swirl around it just to blend out the edges so there's no harsh edges. I just feel like when you know when you don't have a ton of highlight it looks better in photos and it also looks better when you smile because like when you hit it on the apples of your cheeks it really looks like it's like a glow from within opposed to it just being bam there's highlight on your face. So I just typically like to keep it a little low key these days. You know, I don't really overly highlight my my face anymore like I used to. I guess what they call that maturity. <laughs> okay, so going back into the Morphe palette, I'm gonna be taking Alert. The next shade I'm going to be taking Mug Shot. For the next shade I'm going to be taking Framed. For the next shade I'm going to be taking Secret, which is the deep brown shade. fitting that I add this into the look. I'm going to be taking my UV eyeliner. It is a neon shade and I'm just going to be lining lining my um crease line with this. I'm going to be taking the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. <music> to finish off the complete look, I'm going to be taking the Huda Beauty Lip Liner Pencil in the shade Trophy Wife. 
And I'm going to be taking the Huda Beauty Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Tr Trophy Wife as well. Because my eyes are so orangey and so fiery like I just went ahead and put on orange matte lipstick and it is from Revlon I'll link the shade down below so that completes the final look I really hope you guys enjoyed this I'll be right back to you know change the shirt and fluff the puff. So that concludes this look on the Morphe Times Jacqueline Hill palette, the Ring the Alarm palette to be exact. If you guys enjoyed this look, please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section what you want to see next. Um, I had a great time filming this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Please remember to be happy, stay blessed, and love yourself. Bye.